What up, guys? This is Kibo Cars. Back here again with another video. Today, I'm going to be introducing the Family Settings app to you guys. This app was recently released just about a week ago. It's currently in preview slash early access. However, as of right now, you can currently download it on Android and iOS. And if you have any children that play Xbox, you may find this app really beneficial. So first things first, you want to look up the Xbox Family Settings app in either the Android store or the iOS store. We're going to get that downloaded. And then at that point, you're going to log in with the email address that's associated with the parent profile. So if you have an Xbox gamer tag and you are the parent, you want to log in with your gamer tag. If you don't play Xbox and only your kids play Xbox, then you're still going to want to make sure that you sign in to your own Microsoft related account, whether it's Hotmail, at Live, or at Outlook. This is because the parent profile is the one that controls the child profiles. So what we're going to have to do is set up an Xbox family. Now, once you're logged into the parent account, you can either create a child account or invite someone, basically invite your child to be a part of your Xbox family. So in the instance where your child already has a gamer tag, you want to go to invite someone and you need to type in the email address associated with your child's gamer tag. At that point, they're going to get an email on that email address and they're going to need to accept the invitation to the family. Just follow those instructions. Otherwise, we're going to have to create a child account. Now it says once your child has an account and they're part of your Microsoft family, they'll be able to sign into Xbox, Outlook, OneDrive, Skype, and other products. As the organizer of your family, you'll be able to set your child's Xbox and Windows screen time, manage what games your child can play on Xbox and who they can play with, manage the spending in the Microsoft Store, which is going to be big for parents. So this means, you know, they can't go to the Microsoft Store and purchase a bunch of you know, Fortnite money uh, with your credit card without asking you. All right, guys, so once you have your Xbox family set up, you can see your child accounts located under your family. I'm just going to press my child account. In this instance, it is Chivo Jr. Now, right now, while in beta, we can access the screen time, the content restrictions, but we can't manage the friends yet. So let's take a look at the content restrictions. So you can set the age of your child here. In this instance, I'm just going to put seven years old. So what basically this is going to do is any games that are meant for children above seven years old, you will actually get a notification on your phone saying, hey, your child's trying to play Grand Theft Auto. Do you approve of them playing this game? If you approve that game, it will get added to the list of approved games. You also have a list of unapproved games. But any games that are meant for seven years or under will automatically get approved. Besides that, if you scroll down, we do have some settings that are related to Minecraft specifically. That's probably because Minecraft is owned by Xbox. So we can enable Minecraft. It says this game is rated E10 plus with single player and multiplayer options. It says the age filter blocks Minecraft, but allowing it adds the game to the list of exceptions. So as you can see, after I enabled that, it added Minecraft to the list of approved games. Once the app asks you for permission to play that game and you approve it, you won't have to approve it any longer. It's approved moving forward. Next, we have the screen time option. So this is going to come in really handy for parents, super valuable. So what we could do is we can actually turn on the screen time setting and what this will let us do is it will let us set restrictions on screen time for our children. Now, first and foremost, I do really encourage parents to let your kids play video games. There's a lot of benefits to playing video games, such as learning how to read at an early age. You know, I found that I was always ahead in reading because of video games. You also learn a lot of problem solving skills and much more. I may end up releasing a video on all of the benefits to playing games as a kid. However, on the other side of that, I do not think that kids should be sitting in front of the TV for eight hours a day. Because, you know, sitting in front of the TV for too long, for, especially for kids, you know, could lead to, you know, not going to the bathroom when you need to, 
you know, not eating when you're hungry, and maybe even lack of hygiene. You know, I'm not saying that's guaranteed, but it can happen with some kids because let's be real, it's real easy, you know, to get lost in video games and, you know, to get stuck in your chair. And, you know, as a parent, I think that's the hardest part is, you know, having to be the person that tells your kid to get off. You know, you don't want to be the bad person. You want to be the cool parent. You don't really want to have to be the one, you know, to tell your kids, you know, it's time to get off. You've been playing too long. It's bedtime or whatever, you know. So that's where this app is really going to come in handy. You can set the screen time restrictions on the app, you know, let's say four hours a day or whatever you are comfortable with. And if your child reaches that four hours of playtime in that day, the Xbox will notify them, letting them know they reached their allotted allowance on screen time, and that's enough for the day. And then, you know, the Xbox is the one telling them, hey, time's up, rather than, you know, you feeling bad about telling them, you know, to get off. So anyhow, you can set a schedule for screen time. You can set rules for every day or you can set rules for individual days. So you can, you know, maybe allow four hours, you know, Monday through Friday, and then maybe five hours or six hours on the weekend. Or maybe you think that's way too much and you only want to allow two hours during the week and three hours on the weekend. Aside from that, one of my favorite features on the app is in the screen time section. It's a button right in front of you in green. It says allow rest of the day. So maybe your kid's being a really good kid, they did all of their chores, they're getting good grades, yada, 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 and you know, you just want to reward them and allow them to play as much as they want for the rest of the day. So you can go ahead and just press that button and that's going to take off the restriction super quickly and that's going to enable them to play their games again. Now other than that, aside from the features and restrictions, the other really valuable part of this app is the reporting you can see all of the activity in terms of screen time on this app. So you can see exactly how much time your child has spent playing games by the minute, day by day. The technology is pretty crazy these days, guys. I remember when I would get grounded when I was a kid, my mom would take the power cord to my console so I couldn't play it. So, you know, if I called out of school sick or whatever, there was no video games allowed. She took the power cord to the Xbox and I actually, you know, had to sit there sick and get better, no video games allowed. So it's just crazy that before, you know, 10 years ago, even five years ago, as a parent, you know, trying to control how much video games your kid plays was a lot harder, you know, and the kids, you know, took it personally, took it out on you because you were the one, you know, taking away the thing that they loved at the time. And now it's so much easier to restrict things as a parent. You have this app to help you out. You know, if your kid's grounded, you can just restrict the playing time to zero, much easier. You can definitely get really creative with the app. For instance, you can use the time restrictions as bedtimes. So if you don't want your kid, you know, playing the console past their bedtime, you could set the bedtime restriction and then, you know, the Xbox literally won't work for them past that bedtime. So this is an excellent tool for parents in terms of setting restrictions on the Xbox. However, I do not want you guys to use this for the wrong reason. As with anything, too much of anything is bad. I wouldn't get too restrictive, um, you know, on this app with your kids because once again, there is a lot of value that video games will bring to your child's life, including advanced reading, learning things earlier, problem solving skills, plus much more. So, you know, setting a bedtime in this app for your kid, totally understandable. But, you know, only allowing them to play 30 minutes a day is a little too much. Let's be real. So I encourage you to use this wisely. Try not to be too stingy with the playtime with your kid because they deserve to relax like everybody else. However, at the same time, if you're having trouble with your kid, you know, sitting in front of the Xbox for eight hours a day, yeah, that's not healthy for any child. You know, you need to go outside and play a little bit. So that's where a lot of parents are going to be able to take advantage of an app like this. Anyhow, that pretty much touches everything that I wanted to talk about in regards to this family settings app. Hopefully this helped you out, especially if you're a parent. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget, 
to like and subscribe.